The first watch that made a huge impact, there was the Swatch first chronograph, the Goldfinger. This gold Swatch, that was an incredible watch. Everybody wanted to have it, and already at that time I felt, because I had it on my wrist, of being special, but also because of the concept. That was the first Swatch chronograph that was ever produced. I still remember it because it's something that was the first time I was wearing a real good watch. The first watch that made an impact on me as a professional, which I, I will I preface it by saying that, I think was the Uwerk 103.03. .03. You know, in 2005, I'd gone to the Basel Fair to see uh, what Max Busier was doing with the whole Opus series, and he was very brilliant about this. He was basically taking independent watchmakers, putting them in the spotlight, and letting them go crazy. His watch, the Opus 5, was, was awesome, but the one that just blew me away was this thing that was sitting on Felix Baumgartner's wrist. It was like a spaceship, and I love the fact that it introduced a whole new way of telling time, this emotional expression of time. There were really two watches that simultaneously made a really big impact on me when I was a kid. Um, I was a huge Jacques Cousteau fan and a huge NASA fan. So I've got to, I've got to give a split decision between two Omegas, the uh, 300 series Seamaster and the Pre-Pro Speedmaster. Seamaster, Speedmaster. The first watch that made an impact on me was a Hamilton Neal from 1947. My Mother gave it to me for my birthday in 2008. I think about a month later, I came across Hodinkee, and the rest was history. My dad had a triple date Benrus with a radium dial, which was a very elevated watch to have in central Pennsylvania in uh, the 1960s. And I had the flu, I think I was about four. And he uh, came in to put me to bed, and I remember uh, looking up at his wrist through a haze of fever and whatever they gave you for the flu in the 1960s and thinking to myself, hey, it glows, that's cool. I think that was really the beginning. I was eight years old, and I got a watch from my grandfather. A watch for my first communion, you know, as when you are Catholic, you have to go to church at eight, and then you become an adult, in theory. And, uh, <laughs> and so he gave me a watch. I have worn the watch in the church, and once we were back from the church, I had to give it to my parents and they have put it in the safe till I became 18. And when I became 18, I was so happy to have the watch that I wore it every day. And one day I went for skiing on a glacier and my mother said, you will not wear this watch to ski. I said, yes, of course. And I lost the watch. So that was my first <laughs> adventure, my first emotion with a watch. The first watch that made an impact on me, the Grubel 4C 24 seconds contemporary. It's around the time I started uh, designing and I was looking for interesting things, but my point of designing watches came from my love of architecture. And the architecture in that watch, the levels, the depth, the thickness, the, it, it was so strange because I hadn't seen something that extreme before. It was a language, a design DNA, that spoke to me harmoniously just because it was the kind of design that I saw in my head for myself. Back when I was uh, eight years old, my father was a dealer in antique jewelry. At a certain moment, uh, I had the opportunity to see in his uh, stock, he came home with a bubble bag. He came home with this bubble bag in gold and uh, that watch made the story basically of my life and my career because I, I completely was uh, fascinated and uh, I, I fall in love for the, for the aesthetic of the watch, for the shape and for the fact that it was a wristwatch. From there I had a particular interest in that to see all the different kind of wristwatches. My godfather had a Bulova Akutron. So I was pretty, pretty impressed by the buzz, the, the noise that was created by the generator. And I really loved the color also. There was a kind of greenish color inside the watch. So this is really the, the first watch that I've really noticed as a, as a wow, what's that? What, what's that thing? I think the first watch that really sort of struck me and captivated my fantasy was my dad's Hoyer Carrera automatic, uh, an 1153 reference. And I remember my dad's wrist. Uh, my dad has a pretty hairy 
uh, wrist. And with that sort of um, Hoyer Corfin bracelet with the little holes, I, I, it's just a picture that I remember. It felt very masculine, it felt cool, it felt dynamic, sporty, uh, and, and I remember that watch very, very well. The first watch that made an impact on me, there are so many. I remember my father's uh, Casio digital watch when I, when I was very young. Uh, he wore a Seiko bullhead actually back then as well. But of course the, the watch that made the biggest impression on me at an early age was my grandfather's Omega. Speedmaster Mark 40 uh, that he wore later on in life, you know, when he was in his 70s and 80s, uh, when I remember him, you know. And that watch obviously was given to me when I was 16 and then led me to, to do all this. So that watch is uh, that's an important one to me.